Hi, this is Navin Anjandappa from 12 Principles Consulting. Now, let us talk about the sprint planning meeting. Sprint planning is the first event in the sprint. During this event, the team members get together to talk about the sprint goal, the sprint backlog, and how they are going to collaborate, self-organize towards achieving these goals and objectives. Let's look at it in detail. The sprint planning is divided into three topics. The first topic is, why is the sprint valuable? where the product owner defines a sprint goal and as a scrum team, they mutually agree whether the sprint goal is meaningful, achievable and valuable. In topic two, the team members discuss about what can be done during the sprint. During this space, the team members identify the product backlog item that meets the sprint goal, get the clarifications, discuss and negotiate as required. In the topic three, the team members talk about how will the chosen work be get done. So in topic two, the team members have picked up a couple of product backlog items. In topic three, they talk about how is that these product backlog items will be completed with the implementation. So in topic three, they create just sufficient plan for each of the product backlog items, small enough to inspect and adapt, high level designs, low level designs, and the collaboration definition of done required towards achieving the goals. Let's look at each one of this in examples. The topic one in which the team members are discussing about what is the value of the sprint? Why is this important? Why is the sprint valuable? During this period, the product owner describes the sprint goal, explains to the team why does he or she thinks about the sprint is valuable for the product and how can it be valuable? And what is the objective? Example, a sprint goal could be, this sprint is focused on accepting the new application for issuing driving license. With this objective, we will be able to inspect and adapt new application processing steps. So everybody is clear that during the sprint, the team members are focused towards processing the application for driving license issuing. And in that process, they're going to inspect and adapt on all the steps required for processing a new application. And if there are any changes required, they could inspect and adapt by end of the sprint. So the product owner describes that it is essential for us to inspect and adapt on the application processing for driving license and the team members focus on it. This is one of the examples of a sprint goal. Now who takes the accountability of doing it? The product owner. The product owner comes up with uh, an idea as to what is valuable to this team and the product during the sprint and they focus on that. In the topic two, the team members get together, look at the product backlog items that are ready and in the state where it can be accepted or discussed for the sprint. So here are the list of nine product backlog items that we potentially think are going to add value towards meeting the goal. So the team members of the many product backlog items that are available in the product backlog, pick up those product backlog items that are potentially doable and will meet the sprint goal. So here we have listed down the product backlog items such as displaying the driving license process and information page, new application eligibility check page, the form or a web page which will accept the information from new applicant, upload the documents, uh, restore and retrieve the uh, store and retrieve the information, edit the information, confirmation of submissions, uh, scheduling the test for the driving license and then payment and confirmation. So there are a lot of things that could be done so that we can achieve the goal of new application processing steps, inspect and adapt and also the value increment to the product. Now that the team members have picked up the nine product backlog items, which they potentially think is going to meet the sprint goal. This is just a forecasted list. In fact, the team members could potentially plan for nine and eventually maybe finishing with six, seven, which they inspect up by end of the sprint. So they might as well pick up the 10th, 11th and 12th product backlog item if they finish these things earlier. So there is no restrictions on team members picking up new items during the sprint. And that brings us to a very intelligent, uh, very interesting point, which is the topic three. Topic three is the team members creating just sufficient plan for each of the product backlog items so that they can inspect and adapt during the sprint. 
This plan could in, uh, include the task level information, the high level design, the definition of done, the low level design thinking, the test scenarios that they are covering, or any other information that would help the team to plan well. In fact, the topic three, how will the work get done, can be multiple times repeated during the sprint by the developers. It's interesting to note that the sprint backlog also evolves over a period of time during the sprint with just sufficient planning. And to add to this planning, the daily scrum, which is inspecting and adapting on a daily basis and creating a plan for the day helps the team members to come up with a better plan till the end of the sprint. With these three parts in the sprint planning meeting, the team members will eventually end the sprint planning meeting with mutually agreed and confirmed sprint goal, mutually agreed and forecasted product backlog items that meets the sprint goal, mutually agreed and planned just sufficient items for the next few days of the sprint with better clarity on the designs and definition of done. Now you can see that sprint planning meeting is a mutual agreement between the scrum team on what is the goal that they want to focus on, why is it important, and mutually collaborating towards what can be done. The context is more of an inspect and adapt to reduce the risk and focus on the goal of incremental development with less risk, more suitable product for the market. I hope you have clear understanding of the sprint planning meeting and I, I wish that you could try out the right way of doing a sprint planning meeting instead of just assigning the task and going on with uh, uh, task assignments and setting a sprint goal as finish the work that has been assigned to you. If you want to learn more about the sprint planning meeting and other activities, the certified scrum master training is the best suited for you and we can look at it uh, as you are interested. Thank you so much. This is Naveen Anjandapa. Uh, I hope you have a good information about sprint planning meeting.